Have you ever wondered how your lithium batteries work in your devices or how your solar cells degrade over time? Moreover, have you ever wondered how quantum mechanics tie into all of this? What I hope to do is to bring you into the fascinating world of atoms where scientists use quantum mechanics, big computers, big x-rays in order to understand where the atoms are, what they're doing, and how we can use this knowledge to improve renewable energy technologies. While we have seen great improvement in the efficiency of solar cells as well as the capacity of batteries, there's still much room for improvement. So what I'll be talking about are ways in which we try to understand where the atoms are in a material, what they are doing in the different arrangements of atoms, and how we can use uh, our understanding of science to improve these materials in order to make better solar cells and better batteries. When a solar cell or battery operates, atoms move around, they make changes, and the properties can also change. Different arrangements of atoms can give us very different properties and materials. For example, this is a buckyball, which is a carbon nanostructure that are similar to what you find in graphite, which is present in pencil lead as well as lithium ion batteries. On the other hand, if you rearrange the carbon atoms, you can get something like this, which is actually diamond. It has very different properties, let alone costs. In the longer term, what we're interested in is increasing the use of renewable energies so that we can reduce our dependence on fossil fuels for electricity generation as well as transportation use. What that will bring about is a reduction in climate change as well as a reduction in reliance on foreign energy sources. I think it's absolutely fascinating that we can use a combination of mathematics and physics in order to understand something as small as an atom, what it's actually doing in something as tangible as a material that we can hold in our hands and be able to make improvements to it.